This is Rami Ben, aka Pablo Ben, representing Team USB and LDG. My name's Colin Franks, training out of Semtex and Team Dynamite. I ain't gonna talk too much, I love the trash talk. So see you then. To all my mates out there, a lot of bulk tickets. I don't know whether I'm gonna win, whether I'm gonna lose, but it's gonna be one hell of a tear up, boys. Gentlemen, our next bout is in the ultimate challenge welterweight division. Now let us welcome your first fighter to the ring from LDG and Team USB, Pablo Ben. So making his way to the cage now here at Ultimate Challenge Resurrection is Pablo Ben. And yeah, a bit of a mixed bag. Three fights, two losses, one win. Early in his career though. After seeing the fights tonight with the guys that had mixed records, I'm not putting anything past anybody. You never know, this guy might be the next biggest sensation. I've seen such a level of skill here tonight, even on the undercard fights, that I don't think not a lot is going to surprise me in terms of skill and stuff. I mean, it's been a high standard tonight. Rob, I think he has got a real point. The guys that have lost here tonight, one thing I've noticed, the early fights, as you know, their records aren't very big, they're still learning. But it's been a level of technical confidence that's been really good to see. I think we're going to see that again uh, between these two guys. I mean, it looks to be an intriguing bat between two fighters that are both coming off the back of wins. So they're both going to be riding on high as they come in tonight. So it's going to, it's going to have that air of confidence for both men as they come together. You always get those pre-fight jitters, the nerves, but that's what makes you keep your hands up. It keeps you honest. It makes you look for things so you're not, you know, uh, kind of sleeping on your opponent. So it, I, I think to a certain point it's good to have that. Not like Robbie who we always have to keep waking up here, yeah, isn't it, to get him <laughs> on the ball. It's, um, it's a different thing altogether, isn't it? Now, what they don't realize is Rob Nutley has competed uh, both in kickboxing, boxing, other martial arts, and they've actually had to wheel him uh, into the ring because he's been asleep. <laughs> oh, and now for your second fighter to enter the ring from Semtex Gym, Colin Branch. Now, Rob, you mentioned Colin Branch. That win was a debut win, wasn't it? It was. It was a brilliant debut win. It was a win over Liam Etterbar. And Colin French showed great durability. He withheld a fantastic armbar that was put on very, very tight. Was able to turn the tables, get his way out of it, and take home the W. You know, it was a very, very hard fight, and he showed great technique and durability. It'll be interesting to see how he approaches fighting Pablo Ben. And yeah, you can't beat the confidence that comes from a debut win. Well, the thing about it is, once you get that first taste of everybody applauding you, calling out your name, you crave that. It's almost like a drug. Winning, winning is the best legal substance out there, I'm telling you. So getting his last instructions from Leon before he goes in. Colin French. Good response to this young man coming into the cage. He's brought some fans. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is in the ultimate challenge at welterweight division. Please welcome your fighter in the red corner. He weighed in at 75 kilograms. He has a professional record of one win with two losses. Representing LDG and Team USB, Pablo Ben.
now welcome his opponents in the blue corner. He weighed in at 77 kilograms. He has a professional mixed martial arts record of one win with no losses. Representing Semtex Gym, one more time, Colin French! So once again, Robbie, we've got an intriguing bout with two young men just beginning their career here in MMA. An ultimate challenge. Great fight about to get underway. Pablo Ben, Colin French. Now French looks amped. He looks like he's, he's biting at the bit to get out the gate. Well, as you said, Pierre, he's had that adulation. He's had that win. We've heard he's brought a good crowd with him. The weight of expectation is on his shoulders. Here we go. Yeah, and I think uh, ready? to an extent, You're sometimes ready? if you bring a lot of people, uh, you're expected to do big, flashy things, but he has to be careful and he has to curb that and fight a smart fight. Now, Frenchie's hands are a little bit low. He's going to have to be wary of an overhand punch or punch straight down the pipe. Wild swing there from, from Ben, but two good chopping leg kicks before that. Good knee to the body from French. Both guys trade shots. Yeah, the short left from Pablo Ben was the one that actually landed. Now, when you... French with a nice right round kick. Now, the thing is, French's hands is down. Pop a very nice throw from French. Straight into full mount. He got that mount quickly there, Rob. That's right, straight out of a judo textbook, that throw. Beautiful work, and now he's in mount position. Ben tries to buck and escape. French looks calm and collected as he gets his composure to fire those shots. Pablo Ben covering up, doing a good job of not taking too many of those. Davis back, though, Pierre. Yeah. That is a big mistake. He should have went to the side, pushed the leg down, and tried to obtain a uh, half guard. French firing these shots, not even looking to go for the submission. It's going to be all over very quickly. If he doesn't, in Pablo, if he doesn't improve his position, now French needs to flatten him out. And French going for an arm bar. Ah. Doesn't get it, makes a mistake. Allows Pablo Ben to get the single leg and a takedown of his own into the guard of French. And French instantly into the triangle choke. Yeah. Needs to hook the leg. If he uses the arm to hook the leg and pull Pablo Ben down, he'll get his tie. Ben does it anyway. He has tapped. Beautiful work for French. And a fantastic triangle choke picture. And you can hear the crowd. Yep, Pablo Ben has been French fried. Looking at the replay, good work by a friend, sets it up with a high kick. He let one opportunity go, didn't he? But we can put that down to the fact he's only had the one fight. Without a doubt. His arm bar attempt was uh, from the wrong position, A, and it wasn't tight. So Pablo was able to take, as you can see, the top position. However, French transitioned beautifully into that triangle choke and forced the tap out. I'm impressed, very impressed. Did a beautiful job sinking that triangle in hard and tight. And let's be honest, a lot of them their first, after their first fight and only their second, might have panicked after missing such a golden opportunity. He kept his calm and just came again. Yeah. He knew what he had to do. He knew he made a mistake and he had to correct it. He was already waiting to set something up from his back. So it shows that now, you know, that he burst on his back, which is a good thing because that's why it's called mixed martial arts. Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute, 49 seconds of the first round, we have a winner. Due to tap out from a triangle, Colin French. And a big round of applause to the runner-up, Pablo Ben. So it was another win for you in the cage, Colin. Fantastic win as well by Triangle. You've got to be happy. Yeah, I'm having a moon, mate. All the training paid off. I want to say thank you to Gary Cornwall from Titan. Put me through my cardio. Semtex, Dan Harris, Steve, Dean Bray, Full Poker, and uh, Reflections Gym. Well, I'll tell you what, tonight it sounds like you had the biggest crowd of the night down here. What's it like fighting when you've got so many people watching you? Is it extra pressure? No, I love it. I wouldn't have it any other way, mate. 
Well, I take it you're going to thank your crowd. Thank you, boys. I love you all. There you go. Put your hands girls. And girls, put your hands together for you in a Tony Brands. Wow. All I can say, Frenchy Van, are you in the house? Oh, my day. And you know what? He is back here, May the 8th, fighting another geezer, Jody Cotton. So, so all I can say is college. Good luck.